Identity crime is one of the most common crimes in Australia. Some people may not even realize they are a victim of identity theft until long after it has happened. You should look out for these warning signs. Receiving calls from creditors, debt collectors or solicitors about transactions or debts that aren't yours. Unfamiliar charges or withdrawals on your credit or bank card. Arrival of bills for things you didn't buy, like a mobile phone plan or new credit cards you didn't ask for. A reduction in mail or mail you're expecting not arriving. Unexpected denial of credit or refusal of services or benefits. If your identity is stolen, the stress and financial costs can last for years. Most victims lose less than $1,000 per incident, however losses can exceed hundreds of thousands. Identity crime has non-financial impacts too. One in 10 victims require counseling or other medical treatment. On average, victims spend 18 hours dealing with the consequences of the identity theft, with some spending more than 200 hours. Identity crime can happen to anyone. In fact, every 45 seconds, an Australian is ripped off by an identity criminal. Identity crime is more common than assault, break-ins, robbery and motor vehicle theft. So if you think you've been a victim of identity crime, don't be too embarrassed to report it. If you have been a victim of identity crime, here are some helpful tips on how to recover your identity. Immediately inform the police and ask for a police report or reference number so you have evidence that you reported the crime. Inform the relevant organization or identity document issuing agency. Request a free copy of your credit report to check for unauthorized applications for credit. Close all compromised accounts. Make sure your mail hasn't been redirected without your permission. Contact the Australian Privacy Commissioner if your privacy has been breached and you can't resolve the matter with relevant organisations. And contact the ID Care Victim Support Centre for advice on how to respond to your personal information being stolen or misused. If you have been a victim, make sure you follow these steps and get on the road to recovery as soon as possible. Even if you aren't a victim or you don't think you're at risk, there's a chance someone close to you might be. So share this video with your family and friends and don't let them be the next guy to get caught out. Visit our website for more information about protecting your identity.